I already got this guy. Quest here. Uh, scrutinize you. A merchant who journeyed from the south to get his hands on the Frostland's pristine snow water. Rumored to grant the drinker eternal youth. The water demands a high price among the aristocracy. Oh my god. The source of the rumor, however, is none other than this clever merchant himself. This man is just selling fucking... <laughs> melted snow and claiming it's the fucking fountain of youth. My god. What a mad lad. What a legend. I think I might want to get this. I'm going to see if I can get a discount, though, first, before I do that. A young man recently appointed to the Knights of Ardan Ardain. Ardaint or Ardant? I'm going to Ardaint. He is an extremely hard worker due to his strict upbringing. He asked his father on many occasions about his past, but had nothing until recently. Uh-oh. What happened? Grapes. Hello? How nice to meet with a new face. I am Miles. I was recently done the great honor of being appointed to the Knights of Ardant. In fact, my late father, rest him, was also a member of the Knights of Ardant. Though he was stripped of his cloak for the crime of deserting in the midst of battle. Even now, after all these years, it is difficult to believe such a slander to be true. My father would never have abandoned his fellow knights in battle. I guess we have to prove his father's innocence or whatever. Eyewitness account. I don't regret running away yesterday. I'm sure anyone would have done the same after seeing someone collapse in the streets, covered in blood. But it's okay because someone else must have called the guards. That poor person has probably been rescued, right? Holy crap. You left a poor man to die. Holy shit. No chill on this woman. Oh, I could have bought this for cheaper here. Actually, no, I did buy this from that one kid. I think it's the same price, hopefully, maybe? We'll find out. Once a scholar who traveled the continent searching, researching monsters. The, the anecdotes of his astonishing encounters, though, though true, sound like mere fairy tales, so there are few who believe him. Where the ice giant sleeps. Born and raised in Flame's Grace, this pious woman prays to the sacred flame every day, but with monsters and dangerous incidents on the rise, she has started to consider leaving the home she loves for a more peaceful place. It breaks you, lady, but there are monsters literally everywhere. So that's not gonna happen. Either you stay here and be cold, I guess, or go somewhere else to be less cold. I think that's the best you're gonna get out of this. I already bought that already. Okay. Uh, dungeon key's not for sale. I have to steal that, apparently. I'll come back for that later. A proud soldier and keeper of the Peace and Flames Grace. Unfortunately, his job often makes him the target of resentment, so he drowns his sorrows in liquor under the guise of keeping warm. Oh, no. This poor man. He has to arrest people all the time, and probably some of them are innocent, so, you know. He's gonna drink himself to forget he's doing his job. Basically. And the consequences of it. A passionate scholar who loves researching. Unfortunately, the headmaster has yet to acknowledge his work, leaving him vexed. I wonder if he's the ice guy. The ice giant guy. It's no good. I simply cannot see the way of it. That's it. It's all over now. My research is done with. I'm finished. All of my research shall now suggest that the... Jotun. Jotun. I suppose Jotun. She resides somewhere in this land. But I cannot find the proof. If there was only some proof that my years of research weren't for naught. The slumbering... I, I, no, I just got some proof. What the, what the frick, man? Talk to him again, maybe? Well, let me look at my stuff. Uh, oh, it's German, right? Yeah. Uh, Crosslands. Crosslands. I, I got that, though. I don't understand. I was hoping I'd see where I got my little bits of information, but, uh, yeah, no, I guess not. 72%? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. From a young, from a young age, she dreamed of joining the Knights of Ardant, achieving knighthood. However, left her, achieving knighthood. However, left her without any other passions in life. Her expression is now as cold as the ice, though a fire still burns in her eyes during during the heat of battle. Anything good? Ice, ice stones. Anyone in here? Yes. A young woman of flames, Grace. Ever since she was a child, she has struggled to endure the cold, and is at a loss as to how she might free herself from its bitter embrace. Drink. Uh, don't want to go that way. There's nothing over there. Sixty percent. All right, good. A woman who has, who has been living with a wandering mercenary for about a year. She has lost countless hours of sleep keeping a vigilant eye on him, fearing he'll disappear the moment she looks away. Alright. I'm gonna beat you up because you're blocking a door. Only one? Alright. Be very easy. We haven't gotten to do this yet in a while. Alright. Uh, go for that double attack. She's weak to bow. <laughs> or we can just kill her. I honor you, my queen. Just instantly kill her. That poor lady. That poor woman. The scene with we won. After finding his way to Flames Grace, this wandering warrior stumbled into the house of a young woman and has been staying here since. He plans on leaving town soon, though a whole year has already come and gone. Like, look how much we could have bought a silver sword for. I am glad we didn't have to do that. Headgear and iron vest. Uh, no, that's not. Not spend our money. Oh, this is where we found the townsperson. Oh, all right. We have to disband him if we're going to get his stuff. I didn't realize until just now. After losing both his wife and daughter to the great pestilence in the Riverlands, he dedicated himself to spreading the teachings of Sacred Flame, which had been its only light in those dark times. And there's the plum. But now we should be able to guide people here a little bit easier, which, which all of this is going to be good. Alright. I don't think we can do this yet, because I think we need to steal a key for this, if I remember correctly. Prone to leaping before he looks, this hasty traveler often finds himself in a tight spot. Whenever he lands himself in the gall, in the goal, in the gowls. However, he escapes with the aid of others and continues on his journey. Grapes. Please, please listen. I swear that I'm innocent. I've not killed anyone. I've never done it. I just came across the body. That's all. There was a person there covered in blood. What would anyone do? Of course I bent down to see if they were alright. I was only trying to help. But the investigation of that man's death was no more than a pretense. That mockery of a justice is why I'm all was why I'm now in the cell. Yes, we'll share what we've heard. A witness, huh? Wouldn't that be convenient, if only it was true. Give up on the lies already. If you just admit what you did, maybe he, maybe the judge... Oh, maybe the judge would, basically. The judge go easier on you. But I didn't do it! I swear I'm innocent! It was an accident that killed that man, not me. There must be someone who saw what happened. How come no one has come forward, then? No one's gonna believe a pack of lies like that. That traveler there found a witness for me. Just ask and they'll tell you. Hey, you there. Is he telling the truth, then? Hmm. An accident, huh? I suppose I'll have to look into this. Uh, 
All right, I've heard from this witness of yours. And I've asked around with a few other people as well. And, well, looks like you were telling the truth. That's right, I was. I only had a chance to pass by that night. It was nothing but happenstance. Let me out, let me out. And then what do I see but a person lying on the ground covered in blood? I was trying to see if they were all right after I stabbed them, I mean. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> you, you lot took me for a murderer. Yes, we may have been a bit hasty. My commander told me to, told me to let you go. R really? This is all thanks to you. You've saved my life, stranger. We got 1,500 and a tough nut. I wonder if he's gonna keep getting himself arrested for stupid reasons. We play more Ace Attorney in frickin' Octopath Traveler. Once a dancer in the town of Sunshade, she ran away from her cruel master and now lives a new life under a different name. She often has nightmares about her dreadful past, but accepts them as a punishment for leaving her friends behind. Huh. Ooh, more SP. Uh... I think I could've bought this for cheaper here. Oh, that sucks. I think I bought this from a store. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, more SP is good. Don't get that. Ta -da. A kind young man who recently joined the Knights of Ardent. When his gentle disposition proved a mismatch for mother sl for monster slaying, <laughs> for mother slaying, oh no, uh, and catching criminals, the Archbishop suggested that he dedicate his skills to log logistical support, where he now works. An item from that. Soul stones. All right, something else. Wow, we've been getting really lucky so far. We've got a lot of successes on those 60%. A woodcutter working in a neighboring forest who visits the cathedral every few days. There, he thanks the gods for his good fortune and prays for a chance to see the Archbishop's beautiful daughters. Well, I got one of them with me right now. <laughs> I'm over there. Uh, where is this item? Oh, there it is. Next to the statue. I'll get the other one on our way out. Ooh. Uh, yes, it worked. A once renowned swordsman in Victor's Hollow who, comp who competed against a friend for the title of champion. Uh, after his friend repassed, he left the arena and started a new life as a cleric. The rumor has it his sword is hidden somewhere within the cathedral. Ooh. I hope that's his sword we just found. I don't need more quicklet. I got one of those ready. A mother of one who ran away from home to get married, but returned after her divorce. At first, she had reservations about seeing her father again. But now she worries most about whether or not her savings are still intact. Gotta get that some, uh, uh, child support. There we go. Gotta, gotta make him pay that child support, you know, from wherever he came from. A young boy in the coastal town of Gold... Oh, f born in the coastal town of Goldshore. He came to Flames Grace with his mother, where he saw snow for the first time in his... Where he saw snow for the first time in its excitement. However, he often gets lost. candy. Just literally just buy the candy off the child. Better yet, why don't you just steal the candy from the child? Give me the sword. Give me the sword. That's a nut, damn it. It's not a sword, that's a nut. Alright, what about you? 
In his youth, he was a reckless and immature, and would often act without thinking of those around him. Though he has left the knights behind, he fondly remembers the one who took him under his wing. I wonder if that would use that for um, that quest we just got. Probably. I'm gonna assume so. New weapons for sale, alright. A cleric who raised his children, now in the Knights of Ardaint, on the teachings of the Sacred Flame. Oh, a cleric who raised his children on the teachings of the Sacred Flame, okay. From it, his eldest daughter learned its intensity, his younger son its kindness, and his eldest son its dangers. And fire. Fire soul stones. Fire, fire! Uh, 72%? Oh, come on! Well, that's only our first fail, though. 72% now. <laughs> After having faithfully served the church for most of his life, he planned on leaving his post in old age, but ultimately decided to stay and see the kindling ceremony through, just like his friend Joseph. Plums. Be the sort, be the sort. Heavy blade, alright. Hopefully that might be even better than a silver sword, potentially, because I don't remember how good that is or not. Unfortunately, we cannot beat up a dying old man, or rob him, or make or make him follow us, or judge him harshly. We cannot interact with him whatsoever other than talk to him. Although I do believe it would be absolutely hilarious just to drag his corpse around. <laughs> even though he's not actually dead, he's just sick, but you know what I mean. Come on now, it would be freaking hilarious. Alright, and the item we can get, I think it's right in front of this building here, or inside the building maybe? Yeah, get up the stairs, please. Yeah, there it is. Empowering earring. Is there a chest in here or something I can get? Because this is open now. No? Okay. Oh, it's powering earring. What's that one actually? That's an uh, accessory. HP? Uh, well, that's what you have right now, actually. Let's do more of that, then. Having my cleric live longer is just a good idea. As a whole. <laughs> I love they're still unconscious. Oh, where is the... He's down here. Alright, information? Yes, all right. You say you met with a companion of my father's. His fellow knights held him in high regard. There must be some mistake. He was trusted by his superiors and the men serving alongside him to say nothing of the common folk. While he lived, my father would not speak with me of what happened when he was stripped of his cloak. I even cursed him to his face. I told him that he had brought shame upon the name of the Knights of Ardaint. Ardaunt. I still remember how he stared at me, silent and unmoving, when I said such horrid things to him. How could I have not seen it, though? Of course, there must have been some circumstance that forced his hand. The Knights are daunt, are tasked with the sacred duty of protecting the pilgrims who huddle in the light of the sacred flame. I knew my father would not have abandoned them. I knew that he must be the sort of man I would always believe him to be. Thank you, good traveler. I have found a new purpose in my service as one of the Knights are daunt, while I travel this realm in service to duty. I shall see if I cannot retrace my father's steps and find the truth of what happened to him. Perhaps we will meet again, yet. Until we do, friend. Yay, more monies. 1200. Alright, what do we got new in here? Giant sword and broadsword and mirage blade. 
think those are all new. Killer bow uh, is weaker than what I got on here right now. Yeah, we're good then. On to the next place. Yay! Uh, oh, there's an item here. I can't even see that. <laughs> It'll work. Oh, I missed this chest somehow. Just right there. I don't know how I missed that. Just must, must, must I guess I just must not have gone down that path for some reason. Level 25? Oh, that's a little high for us right now. Oh, Tressa has more than 500 now. Tressa's got more than 500 drop points. Yay! Give me size up. Yay! Grows on trees. Alright, I think that gives us more money. Yeah. Let's just go in here so it's marked on the map at least. And maybe if we're lucky we can get at least one chest or something. Alright, uh... You have evasive maneuvers on. Safe point. A uh, block chest up there we can't open. Wait, what? Where the heck am I going? can't even see where I am. Well, I got this one. A light nut. <laughs> Not to be confused with your heavy nuts or your dark nuts. Oh, we're screwed. Uh, time to sh- uh oh. Caught by surprise. Oh, no. How badly are we killed? Oh, well, that's not bad. That's okay. The frogs so far were worse. Never mind. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> no. Tresso, I'm sorry. I just wanted to see what I could find. Hey, right, let's try running. Well, and it goes all of our turns, which is the dumbest thing in the world that does that. But I just figured I'd show that off. And now we're dead. Yay, I died on screen this time. Instead of fighting a stupid horde of frogs that killed us last time. Alright. That's is that on the map now? It's not on the map. Hold on. Let me walk back inside and walk back outside as always. At least on the map. And so I know where it is for the future. Because I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, hey, I need the thing that's in the Horror Frost Grotto for reasons. But like, okay, I'll get the thing for you, I guess. Anything down here? There is a chest. A critical nut? That's much better than a light nut. I, I don't even know what the nut... The nuts are, I'm pretty sure, temporary stat buffs. They can use in battle. Basically, like, X items. But, uh... I never use the nuts. Because why would you ever use the nuts? Oh, hello, person. What are you doing out in the forest? Unlike most of the merchants, this peerless hunter is more committed to instilling an appreciation for nature's bounty in its customers than in turning a profit. After coming to a new land, he hunts and traps game, which he then sells only to the people of Sidland. Ooh, I need that. For a quest, eventually. Wind attire. Uh... More speed. Maybe. No, I'll save my money. I want to save my money. Alright, now we're finally back to Swarky. I swear to God, Cyrus. Okay, thank you. Provoke like a pro. Alright. The proprietor of Swarky Inn, this man of the coastlands, came to, be the came to the village after growing enamored with the thought of living in the woods. In recent times, he has had to play host to his layabout of a little brother and is nearing the end of his uh, tether. <laughs> I definitely understand that as someone who has annoying younger brothers. Okay. Uh, probably already checked you.
Though not a true researcher, this passionate youth has journeyed to the woodlands to learn the legends of the beast tamers. Anything good? More SP? Eh. You know what? Actually, every bit of SP counts. It really does. I don't get that. Are you a traveler? I'm also on a journey of sorts. My name's Ashlyn. I heard a rumor of a monster tamer who lives in this village. I want to learn more about the monster tamers, but haven't a clue what to ask. Um. Do I just beat you up? I'm gonna try beating him up. Let's see what happens. Maybe this is what he wants. Now, let us hunt him. You are surprised, your foe. Oh boy. In, uh, arrows. Be with the arrows, please. Nope. Mm -hmm. Seven. That's not terrible. Uh, let's try the lunge. Nope. Still fine. Uh, manticore? There you go. Daggers. Alright. Uh, I think we can take one more hit before we have to heal. Uh, I'll just heal now, actually. I uh, just spin the one point. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Could've done a lot faster, apparently, if I just nukes my BP. Well, I guess that's not what he wanted. Oh, well. How the train to Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, that's what he wanted, isn't it? Well, I'll have to reload the area to come back then. A scholar studying the forest and other uh untamed wilds who believe they should be protected from the encroachment of civilization. Despite his love of nature, animals seem to detest him, and he finds himself running for his life several times a day. Byron family lineage, a historian who carefully researches noble houses, from their humble beginnings to their various de deeds and indiscretions through the generations. Precisely why he conducts this research is a mystery to everyone, himself included. <laughs> I don't know why I do what I do, man. It just gives him, it just pays the monies. The big olive there. Like many youths of Swarki, this boy would become a hunter like his father and his father's father before him. Though he is still weak of body, he approaches his daily training with a dedication that may yet see him achieve his aspirations. Alright, nothing I want there. In faith, I've been I've been apprentice long enough. It's high time I took the hunter's rights. But a man's not a hunter, true, unless he's bagged a giant boar. Truth be told, I don't see myself doing that too soon. Here you go. I found one. Hi ho! I know what this is. This tis the tusk of a giant boar. Why, of course, I needed to hunt the beast itself. A tusk is all I need to show the elders. It'd be as if I hunted it myself. Much the same thing, really. Um, pardon me for asking, but could you give me that tusk? Bear's fire, staring the reason you'd want something in exchange. Suppose this is what tra trading's all about. Monies and refreshing jam. That's actually really helpful. Uh, let's check out these ladies real quick. This is young man's parents. Oops. <laughs> My bad. This young man's parents were slain by wild beasts. When he was but a child, and were it not for the timely intervention of a hunter and his dire wolf, he too would have surely perished. He is resolved to follow in the footsteps of the men who saved his life, and to that ends trains tirelessly every day. I wonder if he's talking about Xanta there. I think his wolf's a dire, a dire wolf. I could be wrong though. 
Yeah. Maybe he says something. Hello there. Yeah, he was Danto. Oh, that's really cool. That's more character building for the side Oh, no, 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 no. We have one more attempt. Oh, uh, you, you bitch. <laughs> you bitch. Love you. I don't have to pay to freaking restore reputation. Tale of the Beast Tamers. A teller of tales in the woodlands. First, the history of the Beast Tamers. To hear the stories, one need only ask. Uh, critical. I have that. I don't need more. <laughs> that poor man. Can't get what's behind you yet until soonish. Uh, some grapes. Nothing. 36%. Oh my god. Uh, I don't need that. Some would call it strange and unhealthy to think only of another, and not at all of her oneself, but it would seem that is indeed what this woman does. By all accounts, she spends her every waking moment worrying over her husband, as if she has no identity whatsoever, save that which exists relative to his. <laughs> Man, you're you're not helping a lot for uh, woman stereotypes, are you? <laughs> I'm longing to visit my husband. He's working in Boulderfall. But the way there passes through dangerous woods, and I daren't go alone. If only I could find a kind soul to escort me there. So I think we have to guide her there then. Which means we're losing our friend. But I'll be okay. She has daggers. We don't have daggers yet, so. You only, he only have one use left anyway. But it is what it is. Alright, I gotta reload the area now. <laughs> You'll tell me about the monster tamer? Why, thank you, good traveler. One, on rare occasions, people with the power to commune with beasts are born to the people of the Darkwood. These monster tamers learn the old learn from older masters how to bend beasts to their will. Commune with beasts? Nay, that does not sound like father. The neighboring tribe, the people of the Greenwood, also had monster tamers in their midst. Hmm? The people of the Greenwood? Yet, tragically, they sought to use forbidden magics and lost their minds to monsters, turning on the very people they meant to protect. Crivens, that's it! Beg your pardon for the outburst. Truth be told, I am searching for my long-lost father. He was suddenly taken by a furious frenzy, as if possessed. I saw it myself, even as it happened. A giant serpent coiled around his shadow. And the next instant, my father was gone. Before he lost his wits, my father would tell all of all and sundry that he was a descendant of a monster tamers. I believe now that he re I believe now that he resurrected their forbidden magic. According to legend, the Greenwood tribe was defeated and driven away by the people of the Darkwood. So dangerous was the magic that they dared to dabble in. Gods have mercy to you. I am one step closer to finding my father. My father is indeed under the thrall of some beast that I have no choice but to slay this play, but to slay his captor. My journey to save my father must continue. Perhaps in our wanderings we shall meet again. But for now, fare thee well. And another 1500. Oh, I'm so close! I'm so close to buying one of their good necklaces. Uh, can I sell anything? Uh, yes, I can. Heck yeah. Alright. Oh, Heavy Blade's worth a lot more. Oh, it has a lot of damage, too. I am glad I got that. Alright. I think that's where we're going to end this episode, though. Just, yeah. We caught up on all the side stuff we could do for now. Uh, once we get our next four characters, I'll probably do the same thing I just did. And backtrack to all the places we have been. And see what we can get with our new skills. Uh, the only exception to that is... Well, Therian has a very special field skill. That allows him to open those purple chests we see. So once we get Therian... Um, 
I'm probably going to come back here like right away and get that one chest. But other than that, we're just going to continue on along the path. Or on the Octopath, as it were. <laughs> Hope you all have a wonderful time, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.